What's up guys, we're back with another NECA Toys Turtles review, taking a look at the latest in Ultimate Cartoon Figures. And we have got a doozy today. I've really, really been looking forward to this guy. Uh, so we are taking a look at Chrome Dome from the cartoon line. And I'm gonna say right now, yes, I got this guy from overseas via eBay. He is not in stores as of this recording. Uh, he is, of course, in the familiar VHS style packaging for the cartoon Ultimate Subline. So you've got a really cool shot of him uh, kind of in the cityscape in the background with the turtles looking up at him on the front. You get the turtles logo on the side. Back of the box has a little bio for him showcasing some product shots, showcasing how big he is, and then a little bit of uh, maybe a tease back there with Casey and Zach the fifth turtle uh, squaring off with the big guy. And then of course in typical Ultimate style fashion you got the, the flap here so you've got a big monster product shot of him there and then the figure just filling up this window i mean he's absolutely massive so let's do it let's pull him out and take a look and here we go out of the package our NECA cartoon chrome dome figure this guy is uh, is pretty wild and and that's really the best way to say it it's a pretty wild figure that is incredibly large uh, he towers over just about anything you're going to be able to throw at him and he looks fantastic, and he is surprisingly well articulated. I was I was worried, curious, you know, whether or not he would be restricted in any ways because he's so big. Uh, but this is basically the same system that we've that we've seen throughout this line. Uh, he does have the new hip modifications to make him a little bit easier to use and less prone to breaking. But the rest of this figure is just normal stuff for NECA. Uh, it works just like you would expect him to. So as far as moving him around, he can look up, but only slightly. His hair, helmet, whatever you want to call it, uh, hits the wing things on his back. They go down, tilt side to side, and then you've got uh, full rotation. Arms out at the shoulders. They only go this far because of these discs right there. Uh, they just, they get in the way, they stop them. And then you've got full rotation at the, uh, the shoulder but you do have to, of course, watch this on his back. You're gonna run into it. You've got your bicep swivel. We've got double jointed elbows. These are a little stiff on mine, but not like in a way that I feel like it's a problem. They're just not loosened up yet. And then you've got hinge and rotation at the wrist. We do have a, a torso cut here, so a diaphragm cut. Tilt side to side, he's got a little back, a little forward, and then you can use that to sort of shimmy side to side, but he also has a full waist twist down there too. So using them together, uh, you can get him to crouch and hunch over a little bit and then fully twist, which is pretty nice. Uh, legs go out, I mean, almost all the way, which is really surprising for such a big figure. He does have the, the ball and socket down there. It is kind of kind of tight, not again, not anything I needed to use heat on. Uh, they kick forward all the way, and then they do kick backwards, but just slightly. And then, of course, you can twist up there. We do have our double jointed knees, and they go back pretty far, probably further than you're going to need. And then down at the ankles, you've got your rocker, and then we've got really, really good hinges, and we've got uh, toe articulation down here as well. So again, pretty pretty normal stuff for uh, like the non-turtles, basically. He moves very similarly to a lot of the other figures that we've seen lately. And again, no issues moving him around. Some joints are a little bit more rigid than others, but nothing here needed heat. I haven't been concerned about anything popping or breaking or anything like that. Uh, so he feels very sturdy, very easy to move uh, right out of the box. And again, surprisingly well articulated for such a big figure. I really thought they were gonna to have to tone him down a little bit, but thankfully that is not the case. Now, aesthetically, Chrome Dome is a little bit different than the norm when it comes to the cartoon line. So normally there's always the thing I do where I turn him to the side and I chop him down the, down the middle and say, there's your light side, there's your dark side. That is not the case with this figure. Uh, the entire figure is sort of cell shaded in a way where he looks like light is being cast on him, which is pretty much how he was drawn in the show. Um, so obviously the vintage figure was a vac metalized figure to allow him to be a shiny robot. In the cartoon, he's kind of a whitey gray color with a lot of shading to make him look like he's shiny. And I think that NECA absolutely knocked it out of the park when it comes to to mimicking that because uh, it does work. I mean, it, it works better in certain angles than others be because of course, you know, light is being cast light is being cast in one specific direction, basically. 
but it really, really works. These varying shades of white and gray and black uh, really do work. And then he has all these other colors on him just to make him, just to make him pop. And I think he looks fantastic. Obviously, the big thing with this guy, uh, you know, no pun intended, is going to be his size for most people. But the overall design for Chrome Dome is one that I've always been a fan of, uh, from the cartoon to the toy line, because the toy isn't too far removed from the cartoon look outside of the fact that he's chrome silver i think they look really good i love the you know little panels on his back like the big wing things back there he's not as exciting on the back side as he is on the front but he does have a little bit you know he's got some more shading back here he's got the the uh, sort of tricep pads back there but it's all about this shading it's all about these little red and blue color accents that make him into such a unique and different figure because again he is cell shaded in a different way from the norm but it is it's such a way that basically looks like exactly what he is in the show uh, he does have his belt on him in the box which I'm not really sure if this is a cartoon thing or not. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this is very much a toy thing. Uh, so it might be something that might be more of a tribute to that. And uh, I will say that this is something to watch out for. Mine have uh, popped off. Well, at least this one has. They just they just peg right in, so it's not a big deal. But watch out. Uh, I'll probably have to glue that back on, which is not ideal, but it's also not a big issue either. You know, just watch out. I'm, not th I'm, I'm pretty sure I more than likely just knocked it off while I was pulling things and moving stuff. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty cool idea to have that belt on there. You can take it off as well. It's got a peg back here. So you can pop it off if you don't want that and make him look a little bit more cartoony. Uh, but I really do think this guy is fantastic. He is, I don't know, I mean, he's up there for, for like favorite turtle figure right now uh, from NECA at the moment because this thing is, is just so wild. I'm a big fan of large, beefy, monstrous figures. This guy is just sort of like ticking all the boxes for me. The paintwork is fantastic. The sculpt is tremendous. The likeness, if that's the thing, to the show is incredibly spot on. And just everything combined with this really interesting paint job uh, really sells this figure for me. It's an incredibly striking piece that is definitely going to draw your eye, not just because he's so big, but because they executed this color scheme so, so well. Now, as far as size comparisons go, of course, we have to start off with figures within this this line because he is so much bigger than everything else. He is, as you can see, even larger than Krang. I mean, he's not too much larger or at least taller. He's about an inch taller than Krang. But overall, everything else about this figure, outside of the fact that Krang is a big, fat baby robot, uh, is is very much bigger than than Krang by, by quite a bit. He's he's wider, he's broader, uh, his legs are a lot bigger, obviously. The only thing Krang really has on him is gut size. And then uh, a turtle. So here's our disguise Leo. And you can see, I mean, he comes up to just under the belt on, on Chrome Dome. So it's, it's, an, it's a huge, huge figure, and it's a big, big disparity when it comes to height. Chrome Dome is honestly bigger than this in the show. I mean, he's not, he still could be larger, but keeping within this line and the fact that, you know, People don't want to pay $100 for Chrome Dome, probably. He, uh, I think he scales pretty well. I mean, when, when like, he picks up April, for example, I mean, she fits in his hand. Uh, so he's, he's a little bit smaller than he could have been, obviously, but I'm really happy with the overall sizing here. Now, as far as stuff from different lines, let's move Leo out. And this is a really good indicator of, of how big he is. So here is... Uh, Equidron from Mythic Legions, and you can see that Equidron is a little bit taller just because of the ears, but otherwise they're very, very comparable figures. And then here is probably one of the bigger standards for turtle figures lately from Super 7. Here is Bebop from Super 7, so our Ultimates Bebop. You can see that, I mean, he's huge by all accounts. He's been a, a big barometer for large figures for me lately, and he is he is put in his place by, uh, by Chrome Dome here. And then for, I mean, a few other things. So here is a Black Series. Here's the uh, Black Series Deluxe Boba Fett. And for something even more diminutive, here is a Plunderling, which you can see, I mean, comes up to his kneecap. So, this guy is humongous. He's absolutely massive. Uh, he is bigger than everything we've gotten from Turtles so far, and he's going to make a striking presence on your shelf. No doubt about it. Now, as far as accessories goes, Chrome Dome, for such a big figure, has a ton of stuff. It's maybe not as much as other figures in this line, but it's a lot for, you know, cramming everything into this one box. I was honestly kind of surprised. So to start with, we get his uh, blaster, which is really big for one, a, a nice, unique design. 
tons of paint on it, and it's got that sort of white, gray, black color scheme that very much matches him. Uh, he does have his belt, and it can peg onto that belt. That's what that peg is for right there. So there's a hole on one side right there to pop that on. And then we do get his uh, swords, which fit in these uh, scabbards. They are kind of a tight fit. And again, you kind of have to watch it because like I already showed, I popped one of those off by accident. So, you know, buyer beware. And you can see there's also gonna be some paint rub on this too. So so be gentle when you're, uh, when you're playing around with these. You've got the sort of techno blades, which are very toyish to me in terms of, you know, the vintage line. He's got the black and blue on the grip, the white and the red and the gray and the black up top. So it all very much matches him and it's kind of fitting. Uh, so you get two of those and then you get the belt and you get the gun and then he has seven extra hands too so he has two of these gripping hands or like style pose gripping hands on him in the box you get a right finger trigger since he has the gun you get a set of gripping hands so standard grips you get a set of flat sort of karate chop style hands and then you get a set of fists, too. So he has more hands, honestly, than I expected. And then the last thing he comes with is, like, the one thing in this box, and there's always one, right? There's always something that I just can't place the reference or I'm just not sure of. And this is it. I don't know what the, what the computer's for. I really don't remember. So someone someone will let me know. But the, the sculpt and design on this is really good. This is one of those things where, like, I'll probably never use this myself. But surely someone's going to be able to make use of this very, very uh, antiquated computer design, which honestly I really do like. The paintwork and sculpt on it is fantastic. You know, we've got a we've got a floppy drive present, so you can use this to date your scenes. Or if you know what this is used for, you can use it appropriately too. Uh, so we do get this guy, which is I mean, this is a big hunk of plastic. I'm honestly really surprised to see something like this uh, in this set on top of all this other stuff. So he comes with a bunch of stuff. It's all really solid. I love the swords. Uh, I love that gun and. He comes with, I mean, just a ton of hands, a lot more stuff here than I really expected. So overall, this is this is a winner. I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind that people are going to absolutely love this figure because he's big, he's imposing, he has a huge presence. And based on the stuff we've been getting lately and what we're going to get, he is a very important character, and I'm glad they got to him. I mean, he comes from the same episodes that Kerma does, that Dirtbag and Groundchuck come from. Uh, so he's very important in terms of these little specific instances they're going for. Uh, and of course, you know, he's she's seen later on with all of the uh, all of the rogues later on. So I'm really happy that we finally got this guy. He looks fantastic. The sculpt is great. The paintwork is is amazing. It's definitely one of the these selling factors of this figure and then of course he comes with a tremendous amount of accessories far more than i expected for such a large figure and he's just going to tower over all your turtles all the other bad guys and he's going to be a nice focal point in your turtle display so that's going to do it for this look at the NECA toys chrome dome let me know what you guys think feel free to like comment subscribe and share and until next time